All right, let's go figure out how aerodynamic a cat is. All right, let's get right into it. So in front of me here, I have a model of a cat. So this cat's name is Simeon, and we're gonna do a flow study on him. So it's Flow Simeon. I have him scaled up to the right height, so he's about nine and a half inches tall. Typical height for a cat, I think. So yeah, let's get flow simulation loaded up. Head to this gear, say add-ins. Go down here and tick on flow simulation. Okay, now with flow simulation added in, I'm gonna go to my flow simulation tab and I will start up the wizard. I'm gonna name this project flow sim. That'll be good. I'll stick with SI units for this one. This is going to be an external flow. And he doesn't really have any cavities or internal spaces I need to worry about, so I'll leave that as is. Going to the gases, he's going to be surrounded by air. All right, so this is irrelevant to what I'm doing, so I can just leave it at adiabatic wall. All right, and here's where I put the the wind speed. So, Simeon's facing towards positive Z. So I'm going to make the wind go negative five meters per second in the Z direction. Hit okay. So it'll try and guess a computational domain, but this is way too large. So I'm gonna right click on the left hand side, edit definition. All right, got a cat in a box. Hit okay. And now I'm gonna set a couple of goals because um, I wanna find the flow lines, but I also wanna find Simeon's coefficient of drag. So first I need to find the force that's gonna be applied to his face, pretty much. So I'll right click and I'll say insert global goal. Go here and I want to get the normal force in the Z direction. So that'll be one thing here. And I'm going to use that in an equation goal. So this is where I'll put in the equation for coefficient of drag, as you see here. So I'm gonna open up a parentheses. Remember, always practice safe math. Divided by, and I've already worked this out before. So I'm just gonna copy this value. So it is 0.5, that's a constant, times the rho density of air, times the wind speed, and I'll say it's negative five, times his frontal area. Just did it manually with a measure tool, pretty much, but that's a frontal area. And I can hit okay. So let's run this. Right click. All right, looks like we're finished here. So if I click on this thing, I can insert an equations plot. All right, so there's the normal force. But if I put the equations goal one, this is a coefficient of drag. It's crunching that equation. And you can see it's converged around a value of 0.9. So is that good? So I went on the Wikipedia page for drag coefficient, and it lists a couple of uh, coefficients of drag for different bodies, but also for uh, real life items. So you can see at the very uh, streamlined end of things, you got the pack car, there it is, got a BMW i8. Yeah, we're not quite that slick, so we need to keep going down. There's a Volkswagen Beetle at 0.48, and remember, we're at 0.9. So we're, we're less aerodynamic than a Jeep Wrangler right now. Okay, even more so than a model rocket. Coffee filter face up, unreliable resource. All right, we'll ignore that then. Okay, so we need to go to an entire road bicycle plus cyclist to get a coefficient of drag more than Simeon's right now, and um,
All right, so as it turns out, Simeon is more aerodynamic than Usain Bolt. Let's actually see some flow lines to see uh, why that might be. So I'm going to my results, my flow trajectories, and I'll hit insert. Do it with respect to this plane. Yeah, having 20 lines is pretty good. Yeah, I'll set this to velocity in the Z direction. And yeah, let's hit OK. Let, yeah, let's leave it on arrows. Nice. All right, so there you go. You can see there's a bit of a vo uh, vortex forming behind Simeon's head. And I'll play that. Very nice. Yeah, and there's that vortex that is right around where my mouse cursor is. All right, and we can also see some flow lines too. So if I, uh, yeah, let's do stop, insert, let's do another one. And I'll hit static trajectories, and I'll hit lines with arrows. Front plane, hit OK, and there's our lines. So yeah, cats, not very aerodynamic, but still more aerodynamic than Usain Bolt. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe and maybe leave a comment. See ya!